Now, why is energy important? Energy is important not only because it is required for the production process and consumption, but in economic terms, why is it important? Take an example of a village. There, there are the people do not have proper access to energy. There is no electricity. So by the time the day comes to an end in the evening, there is no electricity. Children cannot study. Shops cannot be opened. No production process takes place in the evening. Then there is no proper fuel available for cooking. The woman of the house cooks on the non-commercial sources that are available. She uses dung cakes and all those things which give thick smoke which is not healthy for the family. The whole family falls sick. There are, they cannot earn, they cannot study. So everything goes in disorder. This is the problem which can be solved if they have a proper access to energy. So energy is important for economic development also. The two go hand in hand. Economic development and energy growth. Both are positively uh, related. The studies also show that if a country wants to progress or the economy grows at a rate of 3%, it needs the energy sector also to grow at around 2%. So it is very important. It is also important because it is used in the production of, it is a very important part of a production process. You want to manufacture anything in industry, you need energy, you need electricity. So it is important for production process and for consumption activities also. India is a big country and it is both a major producer and consumer of energy. It is the sixth largest energy producer and it comprises of 3% of the total world energy. The total world energy that is produced, 3% contribution is from India. And similarly, it is the fourth largest energy consumer. 5% of the total world energy is consumed by India. Now, how do we get energy? What are the sources of energy? There are basically two sources of energy. There are primary source of energy and then there is final source of energy. Primary source of energy is the one that is naturally available on earth. Like coal, petrol, gas and radioactive elements. They are naturally available on the earth. So they are called as primary source of energy. And when they are processed, to form another type, then it is called as final energy. Another way of explaining it is that coal, for example, is used and processed to make electricity. So in this case, coal is the primary source of energy and electricity is the final source of energy. All these primary sources of energy can be used as primary source also and final source also because they can be used directly also to get energy and then they can be processed also to get another form of energy which can be used. And electricity is the only form of energy that can be used only as a, as a final source of energy. So primary one, it is the thing that is naturally available and then when it is processed, you get a secondary or final source of energy. And it is also called primary because it can be used in that stage also. And then it can be processed and used as a final source of energy. So coal, natural gas, oil and petrol and radioactive elements, they are primary and final source as well. Whereas electricity is the only source of energy that is only final source of energy. So from this we know that energy is an important thing that is needed for economic development. India is a major energy producer and consumer, sixth largest when it comes to production and fourth largest when it comes to consumption. 